This is why the Earth wobbles. According to a study published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, there are three reasons why Earth wobbles – glacial rebound, melting of ice, and mantle convection. Earth's shape and weight distribution isn't perfectly even due to the mountains and glaciers on Earth's surface. Large glaciers, such as Antarctica or the Arctic, compress the Earth, which causes the sides of the planet to bulge outward. As the glaciers start to melt, the land would gradually start to regain its original shape. This process is referred to as glacial rebound and was found to only be responsible for about 3.5 centimeters of axis wobble each year. Scientists used to believe glacial rebound was the main reason why Earth would wobble. NASA found the melting of the ice fueled by the release of greenhouse gases accounted for one-third of Earth's wobble. Mantle convection also affects the planet's spin as molten rock rises and falls and can redistribute Earth's mass. NASA says the planet's wobble will continue to increase as the combination of these three factors continue to affect Earth. However, they added the wobble isn't large enough to impact ecosystems for now. Here are more stories related to our planet. Long day. New research shows that days on Earth are getting longer as the Moon slowly spirals away from us. Due to gravitational forces between Earth and its satellite, the Moon moves away at a rate of 3.82 centimeters per year, causing our planet's rotation to slow. According to NASA, Earth currently completes a full rotation on its axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. But researchers using astrochronology on geological rock layers found that when the Moon was closer to Earth 1.4 billion years ago, a day was just over 18 hours. The length of a day has grown 175 thousandth of a second on average per year and is expected to continue at this rate for the next millions or billions of years. The Moon will eventually stop moving when it reaches a stable distance from Earth. When this happens, the two will be tidally locked, rotating at the same pace, with the Moon visible from only one side of Earth. Of course, that's assuming either of them survive the Sun's destructive red giant phase. What a massive comet discovery! Scientists have found evidence that a huge event thousands of years ago may have caused a climate shift that greatly affected the evolution of life on Earth. According to a new study, fragments of a large disintegrating comet struck Earth and triggered a massive firestorm some 12,800 years ago. The fires produced thick clouds of smoke and dust that covered the sky and cut off sunlight, causing the climate to cool rapidly and triggering a mini ice age. The cold climate lasted for a thousand years, killing off plants and many large animal species and causing human populations to decline. Researchers came up with the impact theory after examining samples from sites around the world with chemical signatures indicating that 10% of the land surface was on fire. Analysis of pollen levels also suggests that pine forests had burned off and had been replaced by poplar trees, a species that grows in barren ground. The theory is thought to be the trigger event for the Younger Dryas period, a climate anomaly which saw gradual warming suddenly reverse. Nifty Ever looked at a map of Earth millions of years ago and wondered where certain modern-day locations were supposed to be? Well, you'll want to thank your lucky stars because someone's just made a map to let you do exactly that. The Ancient Earth Globe is a cool little online tool curated by Ian Webster, the same genius who meticulously compiled the dinosaur database. Webster's interactive map allows users to see how the Earth has evolved from 750 million years ago to the present. To do so, he adapted a software used by geologists to visualize plate tectonics and overlaid his map with modern political boundaries. It's got the added bonus of an address search so you can pin a location and see where it was during the Ice Age, the Age of Dinosaurs, or even post-extinction. The site has neat extras, like short descriptions on the bottom left-hand side that lets you know exactly what the conditions are during any given time period. Alternatively, you might also want to jump through the stages of evolution, like when the first vertebrates appeared, or the first primates or hominids. Granted, it may not be the most accurate, but it's still pretty damn cool, and a good way to educate yourself, your wife, and your kids. More space junk to fall to Earth There's a whole lot of junk about to enter Earth's atmospheric trunk. According to Space.com, the rocket body of an Indian Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle is expected to fall to Earth around April 3rd. It weighs 907 kilograms. 
part of a European Space Agency satellite was also expected to drop to Earth on the same day. Fortune reports that Kazakh spacecrafts Flock 2E3 and 2E6 are expected to plummet to Earth on Wednesday and on Friday this week. Popular Science reports that 200 parts of space debris fell to Earth in 2014 and 400 fell in 2016. Most land in the Pacific Ocean. The only person known to have been hit by falling debris is Lottie Williams. She was walking in a park in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1997 when she was struck by a six-inch chunk of metal traveling at a low speed from behind. Scientists believe it came from a NASA second-stage Delta rocket.